Hey, what is going on, Aries? Butch Tarot here. I'm going to do your one week read. It is a general read, so it may not resonate with everyone. It is for your sun, moon, rising, and your Venus. Uh, for all you cross watchers, roles can be reversed. Always feel free to comment down below. I'm going to be using the Spellcaster Tarot. Um, and with all that being said, Let's get it. Universe. What is going on for Aries? What message do we have for Aries? What is coming in for Aries? All right, Aries. So the first thing that I see Aries is, is there is someone new coming in. Now this could be somebody you just met or somebody you are gonna meet, but I'll tell you one thing, there's gonna be no doubt when you meet this person that this is who I'm talking about. There's a very commanding presence. When this person walks in the room, you notice them. But one thing unbeknownst to you is this person noticed you. You know, it, the way you're seeing this person, you know, it's type. It's a type of energy when the person walks in the room, all eyes on them. Now, like I said, without your knowledge, you know, I, I feel like this person, you have their attention. We also have the King of Wands, you know, very, very confident energy with this person, uh, they know what they want. You know, they this, it, they just, it, it's just this, like I said, it's that commanding presence, but also um, they know who they are. They know what they have. They know what they have to offer. You know, and, and also with that King of Swords, the very authoritative figure. So this may be someone older than you're used to or at least someone more mature than you're used to. Because even though there is that impulsive, um, you know, fiery energy in this person, they're also very um, well put together. You know, sometimes we'll meet people that are confident, that are just kind of like all over the place. You know, I feel like their, their confidence is based on the fact that they do have their shit together. This person knows what they have to offer. Now the first thing I see with this connection is I feel like there isn't gonna be much you're gonna have to do here. You know, I do see this person um, in which is gonna be a little bit different for Aries, but I feel like this person is going to chase you. This person is gonna initiate um, communication with you. They're gonna come to you. And there's a very, um, there's a very good reason for that. Like I said, you have their attention, but it's not just that. I feel like this person has been manifesting. You know, they've been manifesting that that right person to come into their life. And now that you're here before them, they're not gonna take this opportunity lightly. You know, we have that magician, all about manifestation, all about uh, knowing what you want and, and putting that in the front of your mind. You know, this person has been looking for someone um, that's on the same page as them. You know, like I said, there is a lot of fiery energy in this person and they're looking for someone that can handle that. You know, they, they want someone that's on their level. Now, like I said, they are more mature than what you're used to. Um, but it doesn't mean they're any less impulsive. 
you know, when, when they feel it, they don't doubt what they feel. And, and it's been a long time since this person had these type of feelings. Maybe, if ever. But they see something in you. And that's going to cause this person to be very quick moving with this. You know, they're not going to hold back. You know, some people will wait and, and, and be patient. And this person knows what they want. They're going to go after it. You know, with that page of wands, they see the potential here. You know, and like I said, it starts off more in a physical sense. I mean, they, you know, they, they saw you, you had their attention. But the closer they get, the more attentive they become. You know, I, I feel like with this person, not only um, do I see that physical, you know, um, draw, that physical uh, attraction, but I feel like this person isn't just looking for a lover. They're looking for someone that's going to be their friend, someone that's going to be their partner. You know, and, and with that three of cups, I, I feel like that's exactly what you're getting here. You know, this person trusts their intuition. Your intuition is telling them there's something here. Now, one of the things you're going to notice with this person how, is how open they are with that eight of swords in reverse. That's not normally how they are. You know, I, I just feel like with you, they just feel comfortable very quickly. You know, they're not going to want to hide anything from you. They're not going to want to have anything that jeopardizes them being with you. And that's what's going to make this connection even stronger. Is how open it is. You know, no playing games, no leaving you in the dark. Uh, very direct energy with this person. Very, you know, very, very truthful. You know, with that Queen of Wands, or Queen of Swords. I feel like this person isn't going to leave much up for, for guessing. You know, this person is going to be very direct in what they want from you. They're going to be very direct in what they want moving forward. And when they want something, they're not going to be afraid to tell you about it. Now, one of the things that, you know, the only thing that I see here that could be an issue, but I, knowing Aries as well as I do, I don't think it's going to be. I, I, I feel like this person has a very fiery personality. And this is the type of person that will not back down when they think they're right. And like I said, I feel like that's just going to cement this connection even more because I feel like every fire sign needs a little bit of friction in their relationships. You know, nobody wants to, no, no real, you know, depending on your, on your chart, but not a lot of fire signs want to be with someone that isn't going to step up to them. You know, they want someone that's going to challenge them. They want someone that's going to uh, call them out on their shit. I mean, I'm a, I'm a sun and moon, a Sagittarius and a Leo rising. I know all about fire. You know, we need people that isn't gonna, aren't going to back down from us. And that's what makes this connection even stronger. Like I said, I feel like a lot of signs may not be able to handle that. But if you're a fire sign, you can handle it. You almost want it. You almost need it. Now, I do see this person you know, doing a lot, going out of the way, making a lot of romantic gestures, um, wanting to take you out and very spontaneous. You know, I, I, I feel like, like I said, it's, there's not a lot of, I don't feel like this person does a lot of planning. You know, I feel like they're very, very spontaneous. Um, you know, when they want to do something, they want to do it. And, they're, and And like I said, I feel like all these things, are things that a fire sign likes, you know, spontaneity, passion, confidence. I mean, this person exuberates all that. You know, and I, and I feel like, you know, we have the nine of cups as well. So I feel like this person is really going to fill up your cups. You know, they're going to fill all those voids. Um, you know, and I, like I said, they're not holding back. And I see because of all these things that I'm, we're talking about, uh, we have the chariot as well. So I see a lot of form movement. Like I said, with a strength card, I see, you know, a strong connection here. This person, I mean, I did say that this person, there is going to be some butting heads with this person. 
But trust me, at the end of the day, no matter what you do, this person is going to be there to protect you. And not saying that you need it. I'm just saying, even though there may be days when, you, you know, you guys are pissed at each other. You know, you get in a little bit of a fight. Even those days, this person is going to have your back. And I feel like that's very important. You know, but like I said, even though there's going to be some days that you may not be completely happy with each other because of the fact that I feel like you are going to clash from time to time. But it's the fact that you know this person always has your back. No matter what happens, you know, the good, the bad, the ugly, this person is going to be there for you. And then we have, you know, like I said, I see a lot of happiness here. I see your cups being filled. Um, we have new love. You know, like I said, this isn't just physical. This is so much more than physical. You know, this is this is that that lover, that best friend, you know, that confidant. You know, we all have, have certain needs in our life. And I feel like um, a lot of times one person, a lot of times one person doesn't give us many of that need that we need. That need that we need that, you know, they don't fill all of our cups. But with this person, there is that filling of the cups. You know, and I feel like this leads to a lot of happiness. You know, like I said, we have new love. Um, you know, endless potential. I mean, again, we have um, the Ace of Wands. New potential. New opportunities. But like I said, I don't, I don't see a whole lot here um, other than that clashing from time to time. I don't see a whole lot here that is negative. You know, there's a lot of positive in this read. And like I said, it's, I see a lot of four moon with this. I feel like you're very similar in a lot of ways. It's the ways that you're not similar that may clash from time to time. But even though that happens, I mean, one of the things with fighting is, you know, you get to make up. We're all adults here, so I think we can... You know, gather what I'm saying. I hope you're picking up what I'm laying down. <laughs> now with this person, like I said, a lot of fire. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Um, you know, we have some, some Cancer. Some Pisces. And we have some Gemini and some Aquarius. That's the thing about fire signs, though. Um, and it's not to say that any sign can't be compatible with any other sign, depending on their charts. I mean, it's all depending on your charts. It's, it's not just your sun. You know, a lot of people believe that if your sun isn't compatible with their sun, it'll never work. There's so many different aspects. Um, check out Natal Chart Calculator, N-A-T-A-L, Natal. Google it, put in your information, and trust me, you might want to wear a helmet because that, sh that shit will blow your mind. Um, but like I said, it's, it's how, it, more importantly than just your sun signs, there's so much more information. But truly, I believe that as someone that is very submersed in, in fire, um, they need someone that has some fire in their chart. You know, they need someone that's going to challenge them. They need someone that's confident. They need someone that can stand next to them. I mean, I've said this before, but, um, you know, it's with fire signs, from what I've noticed, and I have a lot of friends that are fire signs, um, you know, they challenge you, but they make you better. You know, they don't let you bullshit them. They don't let you walk all over them. And I feel like that's something that someone that's truly immersed in fire needs. You know, they don't want someone that's a pushover. They don't want someone that's just going to let them roll over them. Because it won't last. You know, and they also need someone that when shit hits the fan, when you have an argument with that person, they need someone that's going to get over that. Like, I can have an argument with, like, one of my buddies. He's an Aries. 
And there's moments where we don't get along at all. It's like oil, you know, it's, it's like oil and water. We don't mix. But we get over it very quickly. And the next, you know, uh, in the morning we could be at each other's throats. By afternoon, we're best friends. It's just how it works. You know, and that's the thing with a lot of, you know, if, you, if you're with someone that can't get over stuff, you know, someone that holds grudges, you know, that's not compatible with a fire sign. You know, and I'm not saying it won't work. I'm just saying it's going to take more work than usual. I, I mean, everybody always says what's compatible with each sign. I really feel like every individual person is different. Every chart is different. You know, and I, and I feel like anything can work as long as you're willing to put the work in. But some are much harder than others. But like I said, with this person, I, I, I feel like, you know, I feel like you've, you've met your match. And I feel like that's very exciting. You know, like, like I said, I feel like you're going to um, have a very passionate relationship. I feel like, you know, and I, I don't, I just mean that the sex is going to be good, which I feel like it probably will be. I mean, um, the connection is going to be strong. You know, it's not just how you see them, it's how they see you. You know, and, and I feel like with this person, you're going to catch them looking at you when you're not looking at them. You know, you, you glance over and you're going to catch them looking at you because this person is drawn to you. They've been waiting for you. They've been manifesting you. And here you are. And they're not going to let you go easy. They'll fight for what they want. Even if they have to fight you. <laughs> Be good. Take care. Stay safe.